What a way to start a stream, huh? <laughs> that, with that ensemble. All right, now let's. Ah, oh, let's lean back, relax, play some Dragon Quest. Okay, so now to go beat that boss. Hey, what's up, Leisure Gaming? Leisurely Gaming, how are you doing? Yeah, there is something up with my like left analog stick on this controller. I was like pop it out. Maybe I'll take it apart and clean it. It's a legit Dual Shock too, and everything. I'd... Probably just old. Uh, oh, might give me an excuse to buy a second controller because I only have one controller for the PS2. Wife and kiddo. Oh, that's nice. That's that, um, uh, Tom Hanks Mr. Rogers thing, right? What, what, what type of, uh, documentary is it? Is it, is, oh, it's very good? Is it, is it more, like, realistic, or is it more, like, uh, like, like, magical or whatever? <laughs> It's about the guy who went to write. Oh, okay. Hey, what's up, Le leather, lethal feather? I was gonna call you leather feather, lethal feather. Also, someone wanted to expose Mr. Rogers, and it turned out it's like, oh, the guy really is Mr. Rogers. Oh crap. <laughs> that was the way he really was. Yeah, it sounds like it. I mean, wasn't he in the army? Leather feather is fine. Like, it's weird. There's like these two guys that are really chill guys on TV, but they're both in the army at some point, and that's Bob Ross and Mr. Rogers. Oh, Bob Ross was in the army. Oh, okay. I might turn the volume down just slightly. Not a lot, just a little bit. Oh, where, where's my volume thingy? Okay, that, that sounds about right. That's not like too glaring for me. Tons of kids love them. That's good, that's good to know. That, that there are still like, that there are people like that. <laughs> Wait, do I have any money? Let's see. I don't think I do. I... 200? No. All the weapons, all the good stuff was like 400, so that's not happening. I'm not, I'm not being able to buy anything at in town. But at least now my main character has heals, so I can use that. We need someone like them again? Yeah, hopefully. I can't think of any, but then again, I don't watch TV anymore, so it's kind of tough. But yeah, in, in this age where all we hear about is like, you know, terrible things about certain people or like certain YouTubers and stuff, it's almost like, oh man, were there any good people out there? And it's like, oh no, there was a couple. That just did it for the love. Alright, get the cat. Any cats? 
Alright. Take out this... Whatever the heck the boss is. I think it's a fish. Really? A tit? No. No way. Well, I assume there's some. I, I don't think it's every one of them, but wow. Well, also, I think kids, you know, I mean, like, going in the role model speech, you know, there's a lot of trash out there. You know, in TV and, like, social media. And it's like, a lot of these trashy people are leading successful lives, so it kind of shows... You know, it kind of gives a bad influence to kids. They're like, oh, well, I could be trashy and lead a successful life, too. It's like, eh, nah, not necessarily. You know, some of these... Some of them were either, like, you know, already rich to begin with and inherited their wealth, or they married into it, you know, so it's like, you can't... If they weren't wealthy, no one would deal with them, basically. Is this bad nowadays? You know, that reminds me of, like, uh, a friend of mine whose neighbor, right, like, she was like that. She didn't want to give up her virginity. This was way back in, like, high school. But they do that. And I'm just, and I'm thinking to myself, it's like, you know, I mean, if this is, like, a religious thing, you, you know, like, you know, you know, God doesn't really distinguish that. <laughs> like, uh, you know, like, the sex before marriage stuff, and it's just like, I don't know. It, you make these loopholes, too, and it's like, what? Uh, it's a strange world we live in. I guess all we can really do is just, like, you know... I mean, I don't have kids, but if I had kids, I'd just... I'd be really, like, involved in trying to explain to them... ...how stupid the, some things are in the world. Oh, no, I didn't want to... How do I get rid of that? Oh! Crap! No. There we go. I knew that was... Okay. He's become soft-hearted. Yeah, you can still get... Exactly. Whistle! Whistle's not a good... Well, Whistle's an okay ability. Like, you use Whistle to get enemies to attack you, so you can just start random battles. It's good for grinding. Yeah, they, they definitely need more sex ed. Either from the parents or, like, from the school or something, you know? Like, I don't know. I, I just feel like... Like, if I had kids, I'd be a lot more involved in their stuff. Just because I don't agree with a lot of the stuff out there. Yeah, well, well, I mean, I live in Texas, so basically what they do is they cut out every program that isn't football. You know what I mean? Because football makes money. So, like, it doesn't matter, like, what type of school you are. Like, you could be in the middle of nowhere. You could be in, like, just, uh, like, you know, the town population could be, like, 2,000 people. But they'll have a stadium with lights and bleachers and everything like that. They'll put so much money into football. But then they'll cut music or something because they don't want to, like, have instruments... And I mean, I mean, to be honest, for a lot of those kids, that's the only way they're going to college. Uh, th their parents don't make enough money to really, like, pay for college. They, they either have to, like, get a scholarship, a sports scholarship, or a, uh, or join the military in some way. So that's why it's such a big deal as well. It's just kind of funny that, like, it sort of come to that. Oh, you meant dang it. I like how they use the same sound effect from the Super Nintendo when they miss. So much trouble now? Yeah. They, get, they got all these advantages, too. And then it's like... I mean, because technically I'm a millennial, but I'm on, like, the very, like, low end of the of it. You know what I mean? Because, like, like millennials like, what? Like, 82? Something like that? Like, you had to be born in, like, 80... I, maybe I'm at the cutoff at 84. 
Yeah, it's weird thinking about this new generation. They didn't grow up. They they grew up with the internet being a thing. I, it's similar, to, like I guess if you were born before television was a thing. Now, I mean, it happened in your lifetime, but it wasn't like the norm when you were younger. Think I can survive an attack? I, you know what? Let's go for it. Oh, I, I gambled and I lost. All right, I might be able to pull this off. Well, that's just you. Fair enough. I work in this grocery store, right? And like, I'm, I'm, I'm not there at night. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm there at night, but I'm not there when they're customers. Oh, really? They're still the Gen X? Fair enough. But it's like, I see a lot of people just walking around and they're always like, literally always wired to the net. You know what I mean? Like, they got their wireless things and stuff and they're just going around talking to themselves. See, when I was younger, those were called crazy people, but now that's like a thing. Talk to I just don't get I, I don't know you know like I mean I don't I it just kind of confuses me because I hate talking to people you know what I mean like on the phone and I hate going to the grocery store so they're just combining two things that I hate doing into one thing you know like so to me it's just like oh my god But I guess it makes it easier, I don't know. Then again, I'm like the only guy at, at, when I go to work, I'm the only guy that doesn't listen to music on headphones. Everyone else has like wireless headphones, they listen to music, I, I just kind of just stay with my own thoughts. I don't think people do that anymore, you know what I mean? They, they're like, it seems like they're afraid to just like, you know, be in their own headspace. Not then again, whatever makes the day go by faster, I guess, especially at work. when I said I hate talking to people. It's mainly people on the phone. Or like, just like, you know, um... Like, I don't mind talking to my friends, but it's like, I don't really feel like talking to people all the time. You know what I mean? Like, constantly. It's like, some, sometimes I just like the silence. But it's like, I'll see them. They'll go, they'll, they'll go through every aisle. No, that's not the weirdest thing. The weirdest thing is people that just leave carts full of food. And I wonder why. It's like, so you went to the grocery store, you got all this food and stuff, you put it in there, like, you got, like, over 20 items, and then you decided to just leave? Like, was it an emergency? Because it can't be an emergency, because it happens too much. So the one thing that bothers me the most... I would say, is when, um, 
people take things and don't put them back in the right place. Because I'm the guy that has to do that, and then the, the buck always passes to the night crew. It never gets, like, the day crew... Like, they don't really do that. And I'm not really paid to do that, so all it does is waste my time. Having to, like, oh, this belongs in that one aisle. I better go walk all the way over there. Like, people that do that really piss me off. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna fight the boss. I'm at level 5. I should be okay to beat the boss at level 5. Though I might... Maybe I should get to level 6 just to give me a little bit more of a boost. A little buffer. Hey, what's up, Never Conquer? How you doing? Critical. Oh, I was just complaining about um, some of the stuff working at the store, which isn't really the job itself, just like, just like certain types of customers. Like the ones that just, I don't, I don't know, you know, it's like I'll be in the dog food section, I'm like, what? What the hell are, like, these butt wipes doing in the dog food section? What the hell? And it's like, I don't know where those go, so I gotta waste, like, five minutes trying to figure out where they go and walk around the whole store. And it's like, you know, you know what would have helped? If the person didn't put that there in the first place. That would have been, like, so useful. Should I use this? Wait, do I have any in my bag? No, I have nothing in my bag. I'm tempted to use it, but it's like... Hmm. What was that other place that I... Well, let's... Uh, uh, let's go the other way, because I didn't explore the rest of the cavern, and like... I might as well try to level up again before fighting this boss. What was the map button? Was it select? No, was not select. Was it circle? No, get out of here. I don't. Oh, no, I don't care. No, circle's the. Um... Was it triangle? Where? Ah, oh, it was square. Yeah, there's an exit over there. When you were in retail. Oh, so you were lucky, you didn't have to deal with the front end, or the customers. Yeah, uh, I mean, like, there's basically three types of customers I don't like. One of them is the ones that, like, just leave crap where it's not supposed to be. That's annoying as hell, right? The other one is, um, the ones that steal. You know, so, like, while I'm doing something, I'll see, like, you know, uh, an empty can of monster or something in the back or whatever. Or, like, um, uh, what's it called? Like, um, like, visine, you know, like, eye drops, you know, but the thing's open. And it's, like, hidden somewhere. It's like, well, first off, no, the, the funniest one was I, w I was doing the toilet bowl stuff, right? So there's the toilet bowl cleaners, and they come in a five-pack, right? And this one was open. And, and it was just four in there, and I'm like, okay, so you stole one toilet bowl cleaner. First off, they're like barely anything, they're like four bucks. Second off, if you're gonna steal one, why not steal all of them? I had to deal with- oh, you had to do that, okay. You know, because it's like, shit like that doesn't make sense to me. It's like, well, you're already stealing, you might as well steal them all if you're gonna commit to that shit. And then the third one are the people that just abandon their carts. Like, 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 there'll be, like, a cart with, like, you know, hamburger meat, you know, toilet paper. And it goes to every different aisle. You know, it's not just, like, one aisle worth of stuff. It's, like, 20 or so items. And they just abandon it. And it's, like, so what happened, you know? And, and it's, like, it can't just be an emergency because I see it. It's already happened three times this week. Where there's been an abandoned cart with lots of stuff in it. Right, why... 
Wait, I can talk to you? Oh, is it? Yes. Oh, well then, psh. And that's, and that, those are the three customer types that I don't like. Because they confuse the hell out of me, man. Next week, that's a lot of work to be a dick, though, don't you think? I mean, that's some malice, then. I mean, because, like, to do that would waste at least 15 to 20 minutes of your time. Now, not to mention the time, like, that's just in-store, right? The amount of time it would waste to get to the store, park, get out of the store, you know, all that stuff. So, you're, you're talking, like, about an hour's worth of somebody's free time that they're gonna waste just to fuck with some- fuck with random people on the night crew. Oh, he's kind-hearted. He learned heal, yay! I mean, I personally wouldn't waste that time, but I guess some people would. <laughs> Alright, okay, so I, I got a better sword. What, what, what button is the... oh my god. Or do I already have a... Wait, what sword do I have? Soldier sword. Okay, is copper sword better? Huh, it is. Okay, good. And break targets, really? Man. I guess some people will go through a lot of time for their... Uh... <laughs> With their free time, they're that mad. I mean, there's certainly a lot of ex-employees. I mean, like... There's been like three guys that have quit since I've been there. Oh, and, and yesterday we were supposed to have, like, some new guys, but they didn't show up. Which pretty much means they're gonna be fired. Like, if you don't show up on your first week or the first three months, you know, like, you, you call in once on that, um, evaluation period, they fire you. There are a few dicks like that. I mean, I guess so. Huh. I don't know. The guys that quit, though, seem a little too lazy to do that. <laughs> Which is why they quit, you know? Like, well, like, one of the guys I worked with, he's like, Oh, I'm getting too old for this. And I'm like, how old are you? And he's like, I'm 38. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> It was ba the job was basically kicking his ass. And then I guess it pissed him off when I said I was like 36. And he's like, well, I didn't start feeling it till like 37. I'm like, oh, okay. Not, yeah, like, because I, I, you'd have, like, I can see that in like, uh, you know, Ranger or like, you know, stuff like that where you have to take orders from somebody and there's like all this mind game bullshit going on and all that. That's not, I mean, there's a little bit, I guess, I mean, you know, we do have a boss, but he's not like a drill sergeant or anything like that. He's not gonna like... There's not enough, um, like, politics, you know what I mean? 
Then again, I don't know, I'm new. Maybe there's a bunch of politics and I just haven't gotten to that level yet. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. Alright. Say Okay, so I'm like level 6, I got a better sword than I did, so this should be the best, op like, the optimal way to beat him. Beat the boss here. Uh, we got like 7 magic points, our health's pretty high. I can, I can waste some healing. Yeah, they come and go too much. Oh. Also, one of the one of the guys, um, one guy didn't quit. He just went to day daytime. Here we go, this should be it. So, my plan is to psych up until I turn Super Saiyan and then destroy him. But, but maybe that might be too risky. Okay, so here's a little comment on RPGs, right? Or like JRPGs in, in particular. When the PlayStation came out, everyone was excited about 3D RPGs, but we really didn't get 3D RPGs. Or in other words, classic RPGs in a 3D world until like around PS2 with this. I mean, yeah, we had... You could say Final Fantasy VII was 3D, but it wasn't. The characters were 3D and the backgrounds were pre-rendered. And other games that were like 3D were still like top-down. Like this one's like legit, oh look, I can look all the way around myself and I'm in an environment and I can go into, you know, actually see things. Then again, I never played every JRPG on the PlayStation, so there might have been one that was like this. Where you could actually like, you know, explore and stuff and... Alright, here's the crystal ball. But the PS2 definitely had that. I mean, like, you see it with Kingdom Hearts, you see it with this, you see it with Final Fantasy XII. I'm going to take it. And this is more of, like, the leap that I think would have made me more excited during that, like, uh, jump. Because this really seems like a Super Nintendo game. Oh. In 3D. Surprise! Surprise! Meet Giza. I am the master of this. Waterfall. I'm the master of the waterfall. I'm Gazer. Oh, how long is she been? How many people have gone and come? Ten long years and more. I've waited ten years, I tell you. All the time hoping for the left one. I mean, the right one to come. But... Enough with the introductions. How about you? Now, for the moment of news. Does this Bristol call... Crystal Ball belong to you? Yes. Next. Oh, wow. That really sucks. <laughs> At last. At last, we fit mace to mace, you half-wit human! I, I'm always amazed how people will just create drama or do things, you know, like, on, on stuff, on very petty stuff. Like, anyone who's been in, like, a gaming clan or, like, you know, a game group knows what I'm talking about. Because it's like, in, those aren't even your job or your career, and people backstab and act like dicks, you know what I mean? Hey, like, that's supposed to be for fun, <laughs> like... Now I'll teach you a moron. Oh, I mean, a lesson you won't forget. Okay. Now this game would have been really cool. With, like, if it was on the GameCube or something, it would have had bloom or more bloom effects. Alright, I got an idea. We're gonna psych up. Like Dragon Ball, we gotta power up. Oh, we gotta power up for like 20 turns. Oh, we might not be able to do that. Oh shit. I would be 
release him of the curse. But I gotta psych myself up. Oh my god! Shit. Damn it. I have to attack. And see, if I use my spell, I'll lose my sight. Ah, uh, fuck it. We have no choice. Oh, wait, no. Yangus can move now. Okay. Never mind. Psych it up, baby. Oh, but Yangus has no healing abilities. Defend you, ba you ba magnificent bastard! Just a little longer! We're dead. I have no choice but to attack, and I haven't... S you know what? No, we're risking it one more. It, it has now become an episode of Dragon Ball. It has now become that. It's either all or nothing. Shit! No! Okay, that doesn't do damage. That's just a status effect. Come on, we gotta do it! We must reach the maximum. No, why? God damn it! God fucking damn it! No! You know how much time you wasted? I gotta start from the same point, son of a bitch! Oh my god! Look, we're playing the game. Thirty-one minutes. Thirty-one minutes of my life down the drain. Fuck! God, that makes me so mad. These games, man, they don't respect your time at all. Like, would it be nice if there was a continue function or something like that? But no, it's like, go back to your last save. And I guess that's okay, but when you only have two hours of free time a day to play a game... <laughs> it's like, that can really piss you off. Alright, so, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go buy a bunch of medical herbs. Actually, I, I should just rage quit the game and play something else now. Topic Thunder. Oh wait, here. I'll allow that. What's up, bomb busting game? It's like... God, that makes me so... That's why I was so cautious of, like, fighting the boss until I leveled up enough, but... You know what's funny, though? The rest of the game is actually kind of easy. It's just this first dungeon that's the hardest fucking dungeon. Because after this, you know, you're like... You actually have, like, abilities, more party members... Did I give him five herbs? Wait, why do I still have the copper sword? Wait, I'm still level six? Whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on here. So I didn't lose my levels or my items? Okay, I'll take it. That's fine. Never mind. Thank Jesus. Thank you, game. You had mercy. I just have to- I just have to go back and fight him. I don't have to, like, grind and do all that shit again. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, I'm still playing then. I was also in quite the spot, too, because Yangus had no healing items. I really need to have, like... Yeah, let's just buy a shitload of these. And now, now we're stocked up, we're good to go. We'll probably get one more level before fighting that boss again. Alright, so not a huge setback. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was. It's actually quite manageable.
Also, one thing I like to comment, because I do, cl I, I am way farther on the 3DS version of this game, is one thing I like about the plot of this game is though it is kind of generic, the main plot's not why I play this game. It, it's, it's more like the side characters and the towns and stuff. But then again, that's always been Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest is a, it, it, it's like Oblivion. Or any of those games, right? You don't really play it for the main plot. The main plot is usually kill some wizard dude or, you know, do something. It's like, you don't really care about that. It's just there. So in many ways, this game is more Western RPG, even though it is the quintessential JRPG. Still have not done the main quest. You haven't closed the Oblivion Gates? Avenge the death of Yuri and Septim or yeah, it's Uriel, I know. You close gates? Okay. You see I well the gates keep randomly appearing until you do the main quest, right? To like until you complete it. It's been a long time. At some point, you know, I will play Oblivion. At some point, I'm actually going to go, you know, through an entire uh, Fallout series. I really want to do that. It's just like, I gotta... I gotta really be in that mood. Because here's the thing I, I, I find, right? Like, when streaming retro... Uh, it seems like more people are interested in consoles than they are with PC. Like, old PC stuff, unless it's Doom. So, but at one point I will make a month PC month and I'll do a bunch of retro PC games and then when I do that I'll probably do like Fallout 1. Well, Fallout 1 I think I can beat in a week. I don't think it's a- it's not a very long game. Fallout 2, however, is a very long game. Fallout 3 is- I- I think is shorter than Fallout 2. Especially if I use the quick travel. Even though I don't like to use quick travel, but I might start doing that just for, um, you know, brevity's sake, right? The first fall was 3. 3 was a pretty good one. It, it, it was a lot more like 1. It didn't really have, like, the... Um, I'm gonna dare say it. It was better than 1. 1's very bare bones. Which makes sense, it was the first- it was the first in a series. Fallout 2 added all this personality to it. Which I hear Fallout Vegas has- has more of that. But 3 wasn't bad, like, I actually liked 3. I know all the purists were like, how could you like 3? It was in 3D and it was made by the Bethesda, you know, the devil. How could you enjoy that? <laughs> Fallout games need to be tedious and in 2D. And I need turn-based combat that's boring as fuck, where all you do is save scum and then try to get criticals on eyeballs. That's what makes Fallout great, okay? Fallout should never have ever became 3D. It should have stayed 2D. In fact, it should have regressed and became a text adventure. Then it would have been the best RPG. You know, those guys. <laughs> the guys that refuse to think, to, to think that gaming is like, you know, Gone into the future. Oh, and thank you, Bart Zirkle, for the yeah. host. Though, at least now those guys can play, um, you know, because there's plenty of throwback isometric RPGs, right? Like Wasteland and stuff like that. But you can't expect a AAA title being published, you know, like to the mainstream to be like 2D isometric turn based. That's fucking not happening. They, they only do that if they don't want to make money. Now, an indie company, yeah, they can cater to that. They can make, like, Wasteland and Wasteland 2 and Shadowrun and Pillars of Eternity or whatever. All, all those isometric RPGs that are throwbacks to the old, the golden age of PC RPGs. Hey, I can play Baldur's Gate. I could do that one. I actually have this mega install of Baldur's Gate that's Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 combined into the Baldur's Gate 2 engine. At least I think I do. I hope I still have that. Oh my god. But those are, like... No, I'll wait until PC month. 
before I make up my mind on... That being said, though, there will be some, uh, so a conversation... Oh, nothing, I was just complaining about, like, those guys that used to be on the No Mutant Allowed forums always bitching about Fallout 3, or, like, any Fallout that wasn't Fallout 1 or 2, and how, like, what made Fallout 1 or 2 great was its antiquated game engine and its bullshit combat. You know, the shit that I, like, that I could, like, pretty much don't give a fuck about Fallout 1 or 2. You know, with its bad companion AI and all that, that's what made it great. What is... Oh god, where am I? Oh, I went in a circle, son of a bitch. Oh, and thank you, Ginger Vitus, for the raid! How was your stream? Oh, speaking of uh, PC Game Month, I will be playing a Duke Nukem mod after Friday. I don't, not on Friday. The mod comes out on Friday, but I may not have the time to play it on Friday. But I'll try to make time after Friday to play it. Oh, and, and of course, Doom Eternal is coming out on the 20th. Right a little bit? Okay. Uh, how's, your, how's your assignments going? <laughs> Oh, you played the FF7 remake? Oh, okay. <laughs> I should still play Dirge of Cerberus. <laughs> I'll play that before the month's over. I'll at least try. Usability in AI for sure, right? Also, I mean, you know, this is probably just me talking, but I don't really like turn-based combat unless I'm playing as multiple characters. You know what I mean? And in Fallout 1 and 2, you only play as your character. Sure, you have companions, but you don't really play as them. They just kind of do what- they're like Fallout 3 companions. They do whatever the hell they want. The remake looks incredible? Okay, that's good. Are they gonna add- you think they're gonna add any new scenes to the remake or anything? Or expand on stuff? Or you think it's just gonna be straight up? Is Cloud still gonna dress like a woman and then almost get, uh, assaulted by that one dude? Or is he gonna go to that muscle club and get, uh, get gangbanged by all the muscle dudes like he did in Fallout 7? You think they're gonna have that one? You think they're gonna extend that scene? Oh my god. What other shit? <laughs> oh, they already expanded the dialogue? Okay. So... You know what? I know this might have said purist, but I hope they cut out some shit, too. Some shit was just pointless. Or at the very least, in the original American translation of the game, it, it wasn't that good, you know? You streamline it a little bit. They did? Oh, okay. It's been like, I mean, I've been playing Final Fantasy VII since, like, middle school. Those, like, early PlayStation RPGs are, like, the hardest to replay because they, they really have no respect for your time. I mean, most RPGs don't. Like, they're all, all RPGs are a time sink, but it's, like, those in particular because they combined the grinding of the Super Nintendo era with the loading times of the PlayStation era. So they're the hardest for me to like go back and replay. Oh, thank you, Ginger Vitus. Like a Super Nintendo RPG, I can replay because it's like you get pretty far. It, you know, like pretty fast, right? You get a lot of content really quickly, but. But at the same time, I guess it's like, you know, it's like, well, I already know what's going to happen, so I'm kind of done. Whereas, like, I think, you know, with stuff like, at least with, like, Oblivion or, like, you know, games where I can customize characters, I can go, like, all right, this time I'm not going to use this weapon. Or I'm, you know, I guess I can kind of do that in, in JRPGs. Like, okay, this time I'm, ne I'm not going to use this character. 
getting to level 30 in the first disc. I, when I was a kid, I totally uh, got to like level 50 in F F Final Fantasy VI during the waterfall scene. Because what you do, there's a part where it's like your raft goes up and you, and you have these options, but your default option is right. And if you do that, it keeps circling. So what you do is you get a turbo controller, right? Then you get a clamp and then you put that on the A button and then it'll just keep cycling. And, and, and your party is a character called Baron who heals your party. So you just always have that be his default attack. So so basically what happens is you, you do that, it keeps cycling, you go through like thousands of battles and then you just like, uh, you know, turn off your TV and go do something for two days and then you come back and it's like you're like super leveled up. Go to sleep. All right, Ginger Pine, I see you have a good one. Thanks for the raid, thanks for hanging out. So I remember doing that as a kid and Jura watching Jurassic Park because I had the VHS of Jurassic Park and the TV I had was one of those uh, VCR TV combos. So while while the game was playing, I just watched Jurassic Park and then fell asleep. And then the next day, I, I, I started playing and it was like, you know, in many ways, I, I, I kind of regret doing that because I basically just screwed myself over from the gameplay experience. Because really, I wasn't challenged at all in that game until like the very end. Like, every boss died in, like, one or two hits. It was... Another reason why I want to go back and replay Final Fantasy VI. Not only is there a better translation of the game... You never felt guilty about Final Fantasy VII, fair enough. How many episodes are they gonna make and how much is each gonna cost? Oh, wait, they're doing that with Final Fantasy VII? Oh, God. I guess that makes sense. Final Fantasy VII was what, like three or four discs? I'm not that excited to play the remake. I'll, I'll, you know what, if I ever play the remake, it'll probably be when it's already all released. The Cinemax spells and summons. Yeah, I can understand that. Those last way too long as well. See, a lot of people now that play these kind of games, they'll play them on emulator, and what they'll do is they'll, uh, they'll make the, make the game go at, like, five times speed so they can get the grinding done really fast and shit. And that kind of also shows, like, you know, how, how the gameplay in those games have not aged the best. Even the remakes of certain games, like the remake of Dragon Quest 1 and 2 on the Super Nintendo, the XP is doubled so you don't have to grind as much. That's an official remake. Alright, we need magic. Shit. No, that's the map. Dang it. I think I'd get used to these controls by now. Evac. Evac your vows. Oh, I can get out of the dungeon. Alright. You're a single out. Okay, there we go. Right, I, got a, I got a plan for this boss. See, what we're gonna do is we're gonna eat herbs. We're gonna eat our sensu beans. And then, and then the main character's gonna power up and turn Super Saiyan while Yangus Kreelings around for a bit, and then we'll beat the boss. That's right, I used Kreeling as a verb. <laughs> what does that mean? It means that every now and then he just, he comes in, does one move, and then just kind of is a distraction for most of the time. And then, and then just keeps healing people. That's all, that's what he's really good for. He just has like, he has a lot of healing items. Oh, boxer shorts, nice. We'll give that to Yangus. Shit. Un unfashionable? Uh, how dare you? Often worn by many there too. How dare you, sir? I still remember that. Oh, wow, it does increase his uh, defense. Now, I remember that episode of Seinfeld where Kramer, you know, was try was deciding between boxers and briefs and then he went commando. That is better than a grass uh, kilt, though, I I'd have to assume. 
Much more comfortable. Before I touch this ball, I'm gonna use herbs. Not now, though, because I might get in a random fight before I get there. Yep. I also think the Fantasy Star remake, you know, the one on the PS2, Fantasy Star 1 and 2, I think they boosted the XP you get in those as well. So you don't have to waste as much time grinding. Speaking of which, I gotta find the, the translations of those. And then test out if they work, because that would be a good way to test it. Actually, you know what? No, I'm already playing this fucking game. Like, I can't keep playing RPGs. There's too many RPGs. How did I do this shit when I was a kid? Oh, that's right, I had more time. That's how I was able to... <laughs> in the air reach out and take it seriously i know right i mean like school was like what like six hours and then like uh you know you had your weekends and you had nothing else to do you didn't have to go like you didn't have to go get your car inspected or go to the grocery store you just sat around and played games look he remembers the, the brutal beating i almost gave him Back to plan, plan A. Better work this time. We gotta become God Super Saiyan, damn it. Make sure, yeah, make sure this book detectors have batteries. <laughs> oh man, never car. <laughs> Hope things are going well. <laughs> Alright, psych it up. Gangus. Damn it. If it, doesn't, if it doesn't happen within the next turn, then it's like... Then basically I just wasted my turns. But usually, like, the second time it happens. It still hasn't happened yet? You know what? No, I'm gonna do it till it happens now. We're too far into it. God damn it! What the fuck? Do I have to be a certain level? Is that what it is? I just want to do it because it's cool. Watch, Yangus will beat him all by himself. It has no! Is it just not possible in the beginning of the game? Just when you're already too deep. Come on, man, you're beating up! Oh my god! Yangus is gonna beat him all by himself. That works all the time in the DS version. What, what is it like in this one? It just doesn't work? Like, you should have reached max tension and then do a shitload of damage, but he didn't. He never reached max tension. Were, were the random number generator just not on my side today? Like, was it just like, fuck you, or I'm gonna make sure you lose a second time to this asshole? 
Or is it because of my low level? I don't know. I don't even think level would matter for the psych up thing, but I guess who knows? Man, this game can really irritate the hell out of me. You know why? Because it's not that hard. You know, it's like, it's... Or maybe I'm not giving enough respect and playing it seriously enough. Maybe I should try that. Or, I think the other thing was, this was never this hard. Like, I never had that much of a problem against this guy until, like, I start to stream. Then it's like, oh, then he's a fucking bullshit guy that does this and, like, nearly kills me most of the time. Ah, oh, we might have to fight him again, man. That will really suck. I should have just attacked him when I had that, like, 50 tension. One. I think I'm out of herbs. Wait, does he have... What? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh my god, we did it. Oh, all the main character did was stand there and, like, not... not psych up. Seed of Strength. Well, you know, in Dragon Quest games, I always give the seeds to the main character. Oh, my pain, my pain. Oh, my old wound. Ever since I got this, I've not been right quite. You know, I feel bad for this guy. It's not his fault someone threw a crystal ball at his head. You have it in mint condition? What's up, Cyril Lars? I mean, I have the game too, but for whatever reason, it didn't come with the manual. You're not the true owner of this crystal ball! No! The shame! The shame! So strong. Strong enough to withstand my fearsome might. You are no tortune fella! That's true, I'm not a tortune Wait. fella. Could you be the waterfall rears many humors, you know? I hear that a castle called Trodain has been cursed. That it was run over, overrun by thorns. And that what re release? You mean the DS version? Inside survived. He set off on a journey. Leading a course and heart. I like a Gohan here is like, what? Oh, the Android version? Oh, well, I mean, it's an Android version. Dude, do we even count mobile games as like games, like re releases? <laughs> Wait, if it's on Android, is it also on Steam? You know, like how there's a Final Fantasy VI that was on Android, but it's also on Steam? Then again, there's those Final Fantasies that were released on DS, like Final Fantasy 4 and 3, that have N64-like graphics now. Which I actually think is kind of neat. I know some people don't like that. Oh, Gohan had a Kaiser helmet. I should have just named him Gohan, huh? As I thought, that was you! How do you know this crap? You weren't there. I was there. What do you want with this crystal ball? But it's yours now. I accept the hands. Or is it defeat? 
Because I could swear in the 3DS version of this, the voice acting's still there. One last thing. Should you meet the true owner of this crystal ball, tell him this from me. Don't throw things in the forewater! So, where thee fell? Oh, the pain, the pain, the pain of my own. And then now my character's passed out again. Oh, wait, no, I got revived? What? Huh. Oh, I'm okay, I just I just got up. Oh, really, there, mate? Oh, I mean, oh, really, gov? But yeah, I'm fine. Oh, you, so you let me beat the, the geyser waterfall guy all by myself. It's like, well, I mean, you know. Speaking of which, I now have a magic spell to get out of dungeons. So... My dragon quest case? I mean... Okay. So, here it is. It comes with a demo of Final Fantasy uh, 12. Oh, and the back has three screenshots. What else? Oh, let's see. Yeah, so no manual. Just the manual for Final Fantasy 12 demo, and then the Final Fantasy 12 thing, and then it flips over, and that's where you put the Dragon Quest. Don't know why I didn't come with that. I just got fucked. But, I mean, it only cost me like 20 bucks, but it wasn't, it wasn't used was the thing. It, it was shrink-wrapped and everything. And no regular... Really? What the hell is the deal with that? That must be like, that must have been like a recall copy or something. Like, maybe like the first print they screwed up. No, but I hear they do come with one. I, I forget if my 3DS comes with one or a virtual one. Supposedly it does. I've looked up online. There's supposedly a manual. That's actually pretty decent and substantial, but I guess certain releases of the game just screwed us. As a cardboard box and quite well done manual. Okay, so yeah, we got screwed. It's almost like Squaresoft knew. It's like, no one's buying this game for Dragon Quest. Just put the Final Fantasy demo and the manual in it. Hey, that's why they put the Final Fantasy demo in the game, to try and make Dragon Quest more popular in the States, which is fucked up when you think about it, because Dragon Warrior was out way before Final Fantasy, but then again, no one gave two fucks about Final Fantasy until Final Fantasy VII. Which, if we really start to think about, it, is a really fucking confusing and stupid ass game in terms of story. Oh, does it? Oh, yeah, that's because you can upscale it. But then again, I like Final Fantasy VII better than any of the other, like, uh,. What I like to call sci-fi Final Fantasies. Final Fantasy IX, though, is pretty damn good, but that doesn't count. That one's more fantasy. Like, medieval fantasy. So we'll keep it there, even though there's aliens and stuff in it, but, you know, whatever. Oh. That can happen in town? Not know that. But, but Final Fantasy XII, though, is okay as well. Also because it's actually in a medieval setting and not in a sci-fi setting. It takes place- yeah, it does. It takes place in the Tactics universe, so it actually feels like Final Fantasy. You know, there's chocobos and, and like, you know, knights and stuff and magic and no fucking robots. Or at the very least, if there are robots, it's like we just deal with it. Crash Bandicoot? Ah. <laughs> Oh, he lived over here. If I remember, he lived by the well. Hey, what are you doing here at the well? Oh yeah, I can't be. I. Uh, you're right. You weren't puking in the well, were you? My very first video game memory. I mean, it's definitely the NES. 
I remember the first game I could beat regularly, and that was Breakthrough on the NES. It, it might be ten yard fight. Would return before long. Oh, what are you, a fortune teller? And it seems you have done as Valentina asked. No, I don't remember my age. I mean, I was definitely like four. You see, even with a glass ball, the great Calderasha's eyes see further than you realize. I can see for miles and miles and miles. But you miles. are meddling oh, in I... matters that do not concern you. Feel my eyes. I got double vision. And you are wasting your time. You can bring back my crystal ball as many times as you like. I will just throw it away again. I mean, I do like Star Wars. What? Don't throw things in the waterfall. It might Don't open up Don't throw things into room. waterfalls. What on earth are you talking about? It might open up an old wound. Oh, Enough. shit. Enough. Listen to me. No one knows why I threw away my crystal ball. Oh, the first Star Wars Galaxies? I played the beta, but I never played the full game. And the beta, I, it wasn't that great. I remember that. I know people are still playing it. Oh, and then, and then they patched it to make it really bad, and then everyone stopped playing it. Last Ninja. Oh, God, I'm sorry, Last Even Ninja. Valentina has no idea. I'm not about to confide in a stranger. Can I play with madness? The prophet stared at his crystal ball. Give it to me. Oh. This time I will smash it into a million pieces so it never finds its way back to me again. Crystal ball. Stop. Please stop, father. Tell me why, why? I know. I've known for ages. You like the title many music? I know why you threw away your crystal ball. You know what's a really bad game, but really good music? Waterworld on the Super Nintendo. You... You know? So you know about your real parents? Yes. And I don't blame you for their death. Why not? How can you not blame me, <laughs> How can you not... Hate me. Because you were just fortune telling. Just doing what you do best. Well, actually, what he does best is drinking. I was too young to remember, but you were once a truly great fortune teller, weren't you, father? No one knew where my parents had fled to, but to you, it was as clear as day. Back then, there was nothing I could not see. The great Caldarasha was known all over the world. I was walking on air. Fortune telling was my life. It was my soul. Well, at least he I found his calling. Myself. Be they good or bad, I cared not who asked me to use my crystal ball. I lived for the vision. It's all right, father. You're a good man. You took me in and raised me, didn't you? When I was just a helpless baby. I want to see it for myself. I want to see the great Caldarasha in all his glory. I want to see your magnificent powers at work again, father. It's funny if she gets disappointed, it's like he's not that great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really my sweet Valentina. <laughs> so we just passed out? Like, I don't, what happened? Boy, that was some fortune, huh, Yangus? <laughs> Looks like he's zonked and out of the out for the count. Okay. Monster behavior. After many long years spent researching monsters, I've reached an unexpected conclusion. It appears that nocturnal monsters are far stronger and more vicious than the day. Took you that long to figure that out? 
Ugh, monster biology. I don't want to know. None of the books appear to be particularly interesting. Yeah, not as interesting as monster biology. Capturing minigame on this. The that makes sense. There, there's been like Pokemon type games of Dragon Quest. Then again, there's been that for like Persona as well. Oh wait, Persona 4, there's a game I could play. Do 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 ch 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 chia So you are awake at last. It is already past midday. Oh, in the you arena, must nice. Have been exhausted. Nope, just lazy. I must thank you and your friend. Look, I have put my crystal ball back where it belongs. Took me all day to do this. Are you not impressed? Many years have passed since I gazed into the crystal like this. I have to thank you for returning it to me. <laughs> what? what is this? What? Yes, yes, I see it, I see it. There is a jester. Is his name Kefka? Jester breaking through the... That was a fucking jester. Is his name Chuckles? Yes. And stuff like that. Oh, really, beef jerky? That makes sense. <laughs> and the same jester murdered Master Rylos. Yes. Yes. The mists are clearing. <gasps> Can it be? Surely not. He has changed. But there can be no mistake. It has to be Master Rylos's former pupil. Dulmagos. Dolmagus? Uh, what? I had a nightmare about Dolmagus. Gav! He said Dolmagus, right? That's our man. That's the evil magician. You and the old granddad are after, innit? I like how Yengus has no real reason to be part of this. So where'd he go after that? What else can you deduct? What else? Let me look deeper. Huh? What's this? Yes, no question. I have call waiting. my old crystal ball, but look here. It has been chipped. Huh. It must have been <laughs> very hard right. to do this damage. Oh yeah, he's, he's a member of Spinal and Tap you. now. Someone has scratched some letters next to the chip. What? Half-wit? Who's the half-wit? What ignorant lowlife would do this to my crystal ball? Oh, uh, we can buff that out. We'll sand it. When I ask what else you could see, I didn't mean on the ball, I mean in the ball. Whatever. I'll oh, come and gov. It's like it's like Mike Myers doing a Mick Jagger impersonation. <laughs> I guess. Oh, you just hang out in the kitchen, huh? Okay, I'll tell, I'll tell old Piccolo that you said okay, that you said thank you. Okay, so something I probably could have already guessed. Okay, so he's going south, there's a small village called Alexandria in that direction. I can tell you no more. Thank you for everything you have done. I wish you a good fortune on the journey ahead. Yes. All right, let's get out of here. Wait up, Gov. Uh, oh, wow, this well is the hot spot of the town, huh? Why put it in the corner then? I heard all about it, apparently Count Rasha was using a Play-Doh glass ball this whole time and ripping us off for fortunes. And the lottery is now totally banned in this kingdom. Raising a young Valentina, it's high time he put it all behind him. I say, just another day at the watering hole. Mm -hmm. 
So you just stand here? Is that your job? Oh, that is your job. Oh, it's you again. You look cheerful. Have you had a bit of good luck? I have. Da, 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 da. Should I buy something here? I got money. Let's see what you got. Wayfarer's clothes. Uh -huh. Leather armor, though. Le I mean, look at leather armor. Okay, so I need to get some of that. Give Genghis the shield. You want to show me that pot lid? It's like, yeah, there you go. It's not, it's technically not armor, but you know. You want to sell me some used underwear, I see. Well, I'll buy it for 18 gold. Money for weapons? 400. Yeah, I probably do. Let's go look. Let's get that going, then we'll head south. To destiny! Oh, we, we should save, too. That's probably a good idea. One gold away from the boomerang. That's fine though, we'll get we'll get the mallet. I wish it auto sold the old weapon. That'd be nice if that was an option, you know. It's like, hey what do you want to sell this club? But yeah, yes. I forget, do they refer to the to their god as the goddess in this one, or do they still refer to it as the god? Because at, at some point, th that changed. Nope, the goddess, alright. So this is like after that change. Om Dominos Nicto, saving the game! How much time do I have? Is it enough time to like... You know, I could probably make it to the next town. Probably make it there. Yeah, why do they do that? Is there a 16 megabyte one or a 4 megabyte one or a 2 one? Like, why is it always 8 megabyte? Really wanted to advertise that. Our, our, our saved memory cards have up to 8 megabytes. You'll never need another memory card for the rest of your life. I mean, it would make more sense if there are different types of, like, but as far as I know, 8 megabytes is the only, like, memory card I've ever seen for a PS2. I've never seen any other. Or, or either that they did that to distinguish it from the PlayStation 1 memory card, but, like, no, it's like that. Why not just call it the PS2 memory card? It's just dumb. So, 
What happened? Did you do what the young girl asked? Hmm? We had to kill her. I'm sorry. There was no way, King Trode. We gotta leave now. We're wanted men. And so then I passed out, and Yangus killed the creature and took the crystal what? ball. Dulmagus killed Master Rylus? The same Dulmagus we're looking for? That fiend killed his own teacher? Well, I mean, he's already done some bad shit. Like, look at you. <laughs> like. And you say he headed south? Then there's no time to lose. We must go after him at once. Let's be on our way. wondered like how in like old RPGs that slimes were monsters. I learned zoom. So what am I like a moz now? I go zoom zoom zoom? What what does zoom do? Allows you to return instantly. Okay, so that's pretty nice. It will head south. Maybe we cut cut the corner over here and just go this way. That thing was making the, the same lips that every girl on Instagram and Facebook makes. The blob, they could be dangerous. <laughs> That's the thing, is usually like a slime or a blob would be very hard to hit. You could only kill it with, with magic. <clears throat> but they're like in every... RPG, because they were in Dungeons and Dragons. <coughs> oh. Wait, hold on. Why is there a horse over there? Oh, damn it. Oh, that dragon's breath would kill him, too. Well, it was the way Toriyama designed the slime in this game that, like, made it so unique. With the, with the little, like, you made it a little raindrop with the face. <laughs> They're called flats. Hey, ah! Oh! That horse is just as confused as me as to why it's here. Look at it, he's like, oh my god! What, what, what are you looking at? That rock? Okay, well. You doing okay, horse? Okay, well, I'll just let you be then. Maybe I'll go this way. Go to where the horse points. Bridge. Okay, I beat some chilies. They should have called him Red Hot Chili Peppers. Ha 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 ha. They probably did in Japan, but then, like, in the States, they couldn't call them that. Where am I going? I'm just... Let's just wander off the path. Hey, what's up, Sujak? Those and Bersneria is better? No, it's not! the fuck out of here. This is Dragon Quest, man. You want to act hardcore? Dragon Quest is the most hardcore game. <laughs> like, Suki, you want, you want to be a weeaboo, you play Dragon Quest, not some fucking obscure bullshit game from the Tales series made by Konami or some shit. Don't give me that horse shit. <laughs> the guy just ran away.
It was either this or Persona 4, and I don't own Persona 4. Another horse. What's up, Suki? Yeah, this game has really great music because of the uh, orchestration. I mean, it's the same music that it's always been in Dragon Quest, they just decided to put an orchestra to it. P5 is the same thing as P4, no difference. Well, there's no, like, t killer TVs and weird-ass dreams. I'm okay, this is the gate. This has to be the gate because it's been destroyed, see? Figured that out. Botkins! I know I should have hit, hit the guy I was already attacking, but screw it. We got it. We got to take out some of these guys. Really wish I bought that boomerang right about now. Well, at least I don't do that much damage. They're just annoying. Like, ow! Come on! Uh, let's see. You know what? No, let's heal. Forgot that he didn't have enough MP to cast the spell. How do you do that? I guess when you're a monster. Defeated. Do, 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 do. Oh wait, wrong game. There's a treasure chest over there, so I'm gonna go get it, because that's what I've been programmed to do in games. Okay. Oh, that reminds me, I gotta change the uh, command in DudeBot. I should do that, like, now, huh? Oh, they're accessories! Okay, defense goes up. Well, you have less defense, so you wear the Urien Jengus. No, wait, what? Dang it! There we go. Here, let me, let me do it right now. Or at the very least... Um, uh, you know what? No, I'll save it for later. Oh shit, no, I, I made him go away. Oh, dude bot, dude bot doesn't like me anymore. Oh well. I just gotta change the command for the boat for next month. I gotta make a new straw pole and put some stuff in it and then like change the address on that command. I'll do that tomorrow. Tomorrow's my day off, so I, I'll I'll change it then. Hopefully this time we're not a guy short. The last time we were one guy short, so I was there for ten hours.
With, for zero points? Wait, not ability, it's a spell. I'm so tired, I slept all day. It said free dueling commands? Okay. Oh, that was the stream element commands, right? He has become a busybody. Really? So when you're a busybody? He just gets in your shit. So how how you doing? How's the girlfriend? How's your job going? How's the kids? How's the family? Fungal. <laughs> Fungal. Looks like there's a building up ahead. Multiple fungals and drac mages. Right, let's kill the drac mages first. Damn fungal breath. Undead living mushrooms. a family man? That's bizarre. Did he make a family with Smithers? <laughs> oh, that kind of is icy. Dodged it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Almost there. With the windmill. What is this place? Oh, let's go into this place. Then. A good place for me to save. Was there ever a Ronald McDonald fight in South in Family Guy? I remember the chicken. Hey, speaking of chicken and fast food, you know KFC now has donut chicken, like a donut sandwich with with the chicken. Alright, wanna fight about it, kid? Let's go, right now, you me. This is for Alistair! Come on, Mash! Let's get him! Start serving breakfast at- didn't Wendy's always have breakfast? Yes, sir, Bangers! Names Bangers and Mash, huh? Some names. Prepare to meet your maker! Alright, let's go! Alright, psych up, Yangus! We really gotta give these kids a one hell of a wallop! What on earth are you two rascals up to now? Stop They never said. Oh, okay. I could have sworn they had a breakfast menu. Wait. 
Where are your manners? That's no way to welcome travelers. But we are bandits, miss. Miss Child Jessica abuse. asked you to run an errand for her, and here you are playing around. Uh, I forgot! You'd better run along before Jessica finds out. Yikes! I'm so sorry. They don't mean any harm. It's just that our village has been through a lot lately. Ask around for yourselves. You'll see. There's nothing wrong with the place, mind. It's a lovely village, really. Make Let's yourselves at home. Okay. Where's your nearest church so we can save the game? Oh, it's right there? Okay, good. Saving the game, saving the game. Just take the song Breaking the Law, but you just replace it with Saving the Game. Saving the game, saving the game. Do 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 Oh, it took me like 18 minutes? Damn. Peaceful spry. Okay. Let's see, what can I play for like 20 or 30 minutes? Because I know I couldn't complete anything within that time period. Like the next quest would take like about an hour or so. 